Lord, some have called it the heart of the church because the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared there and, and offered that message of healing. Well, the military pilgrimage to Lourdes actually began as an attempt at rapprochement between the Germans and the French after the Second World War. This pilgrimage then became an instrument of Catholics in the military throughout the world to gather together in a moment of prayer for world peace. The Knights of Columbus first joined with U.S. military personnel in a pilgrimage to Lourdes during the First World War, in which we helped our servicemen come uh, to this shrine. Last year, we came back with our American wounded warriors in cooperation with the Archdiocese for Military Services. And this is part of a long tradition in the Knights of Columbus to support our military personnel active and our veterans, especially those who have been wounded or injured in the war. Coming back from Afghanistan with uh, lots of injuries, spiritual healing has been tremendous for me. Dealing with anger issues, dealing with uh, just trauma, trying to strengthen my relationship with God, being a part of this event with other Christians that are trying to do the same thing is a very unique event for me, like a once in a lifetime opportunity. It has been amazing. I have met a lot of wonderful people that have been a great blessing, who have shared their stories, who have shared their experience, and who I can really relate to. It's just comforting to know that while we have different experiences, we get it, we understand. We don't even have to talk. It's just being in each other's presence is, is very supportive. So to be here with all these other militaries is nothing short of amazing. Our Catholic faith, our Catholic values promote a patriotism that at the same time respects the patriotism of individuals in other countries. And so here we see military personnel from many, many countries are going to mass together, praying together, on pilgrimage together. It's a sign of peace, a sign of fraternity, and a sign that we can have a better future. Going to war, uh, there's certainly a sense of, of a spiritual void, uh, you know, a lot of chaos and death and uh, destruction. And, uh, and so uh, for a sign of, uh, of God's presence, uh, there's definitely a need. There was emptiness before. I was just mad. And it took me this long to figure it out. Talking to uh, the other couples, being around people that I feel comfortable with. Some of the guys that been to Iraq, been to Afghanistan, shared the same stories. They, you know, encouraged me, you know, take it slow, you know, and just, just talking to me, talking to the deacon. It was just great. I think it will be positive for those who are here to see how many people want to help them to get better. And this pilgrimage won't be the end of it. This will continue to reach out to these men and women, these brave young men and women who were injured in some way, and now they're here for the healing of Mary's miraculous waters here at Lourdes to uh, help them on the rest of their journey in life. The procession uh, was uh, just a beautiful image to me, and that uh, sea of light, that kind of cloud of witnesses, to see uh, the church, you know, embrace folks as they uh, came in. And my hope is that they would experience that uh, reconciliation, uh, that, that return, that welcome back into uh, the faith and family of God, and that uh, there's healing and hope possible uh, coming home. I just felt like, a, like an awakening, like something I was missing. I don't know what words, what label, title to put it, it's just amazing. Not everyone who comes to Lourdes will be cured, but everyone will be healed. And whether it's something that's miraculous, whether it's just being able to gain peace, which is, is so lacking in our everyday lives. I'm looking forward to being able to come as a volunteer in the future to help other troops that are going through this.